This is intended as a fundamental demonstration on how the hydraulic control system, the steering on a Bobcat type front end loader, can be used to stabilize a swinging load or to actually keep it from swinging. This is actually a demonstration, so you know, anytime you're attaching something to, you know, external to your control arms on your Bobcat, that's serious liability. So this is basically a demonstration. But here I wanted to show how, in this case, I, as a control, I'm trying to stabilize this by taking two incredibly weak bungee cords, uh, like you might attach a rope to a load. In any case, they're, they're so weak, and I'm attaching it to this, to show how they are not doing anything to stabilize this load. So you would call that a control. And it's swinging wildly out of control and the one bungee cord breaks. Now um, what I'm going to do next is basically start this all over again and I'm going to attach those two bungee cords to the control arms. Now in engineering control parlance this is called loosely coupling. And when you loosely couple the load it's to the control arms. What it's doing is when the load swings, it's, it's stretchy, it communicates a small amount of information about what's going on out there to what's going on in the control arms where you have them positioned. And that actually is causing what they call positive feedback to control the wild swings of the load. It's speeding the bobcat up and slowing the bobcat down in time with how the load is swinging. Right there was a very violent swing. Normally that would have crashed into the top part of the cab. In fact, I've had to do that before on that set of stairs, <laughs> which is how I came up with this idea. Um, so basically, what's going on here is the, like I said, the motion of that wildly swinging, normally wildly swinging set of stairs is being communicated and even twisting, which is subtly moving the control arms, which is either slowing up or speeding down the bobcat to stabilize the load. Now the first example was just to show how this control is actually doing what I say it is. And the second example is probably something like if you really were serious about doing something like this, you'd actually use larger bungee cords, which could, you know, more reliably communicate back to the control arms. And here we have the same course which I'm going over again, and it, the larger bungee cords are actually able to communicate more information back to, that, that was that one hit before that actually broke the bungee cord, and it's actually acting a little bit more stable with the larger bungee cords. And that's just another uh, example of how this information from the wildly swinging stairs is being communicated back through those larger, um, larger bungee cords to the control arms. And it's a very subtle movement. There's not a lot of movement there uh, that's actually causing this change, which allows the load to stabilize. Now, how does this all work? Well, remarkably, it is very complicated. I have 20 patents. Many of them are in controls engineering. Uh, this is not going to be the 21st, because obviously there's a lot of liability for <laughs> hooking something external to the tractor to the control arms on a bobcat. You know, unless you, if there's something grabs the hold of one of those and jerks it, well, that's what's tied onto your control arm, so there you go. Wild ride. I hope you have your seatbelt fastened. What makes all this work is that a bobcat it has such a short wheelbase, and there's a thing in control engineering called control gain, which is the amount, when you know, how responsive the system is. Right here you can see where I'm pushing forward and slamming back. What's going on is when I push, when I push forward and the load, ex when it accelerates forward, swinging away from the tractor, those bungee cords communicate that stretching, that running away of that load to those control arms, which moves them subtly forward. That makes the tractor drive faster to catch up to the load. In principle, it's very simple. And the control, uh, gain that I'm talking about. It's like 25,000, which makes the system very responsive, which you need to have for Bobcat because uh, you know, generally they're short wheel base, very unstable. Anything you do to those control arms need to be, needs to be transmitted instantly to the steering in order to maintain stability.